let's continue on the recording. Because I need something to happen, at least one ever. So what? So this is where the council passes judgment on all spiritual crimes. Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? I'm sorry. Talk of someone who isn't good enough. Corbin? No, I wasn't. Never mind. Hey, a subtle. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Oh. Ah, yes, the great keeper. No, I just want to ask you, Commander. Roku, Roku, keeper. Okay. Uh, the Citadel Arc is too big for its own good. But yes, it's, it's, it's world building. I should respect it, right? I should just be calm and patient. Play and listen to the story. Like this. Another deep. Boom. Man, I love it when you go from casual races to intergalactic races. That's the real competition. Interestingly enough, I think the Asari might be the most Complex among them, despite the fact they can integrate with almost any species. They also hate themselves and each other more than anyone else. They're really judgy about who is born between. Do a sari and an asari and something else. Oh, yes, the comp. 
I uh What am I doing? I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren is one of their best operators. It's only natural they take his word for ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yeah, well, join the club. Eh. God, I should just. Let me just. Sit, sit back. Relax. On the couch. Enjoy your life. hear that low hum sounds like it's coming from that statue it's my teeth tingling that's not foreshadowing let's speak with bottle of all also need to make my way down for us Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? Even. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the <laughs> Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation, so I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business, until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with c -Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances. But my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. 
From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. So, there was a people back here. Let's go, Benadina. Going. You didn't see nothing. God, my eyes are going weird. So were there keepers in other world? And if the last episode was the tourism episode, this one is the kind of continuation, kind of just bumble around, touching all the insects. XP and free money, I guess. in your office. Is there a keeper in your office, Anderson? See, sack it is. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. 
Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. And here we are. Hey, uh, Rack. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barla Vaughn is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. I want Rex. Because he's my boy. Actually, all of the non human are our boy. Everyone else. Eh. Eh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Okay, Rex. Keeper. A position of One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I want, but this is useful. License. Anything else? Anything else? 
is a uh, save save but Nothing to okay. Let me get That's a uh, the voice. Did I get anything? XP and codex, I guess. Oh, more. Hey Rex, you wanna? Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. Great. Oh, the Citadel. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well... Even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Uh huh. Will you not miss interpreting something? Hello, Commander. Hello. Hola. Oh, where is the docking bay? Um. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Oh, it's another keep. Save. Seven. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. 
They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Wait, did that say security or security? I... Was that a typo? Or maybe I'm just seeing things. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Uh. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, the map went. What if I call Garrett? If I immediately start the thing. Oh, Emily Wong. Hey. Oh, wait. Emily. No, Emily Wong was. Give me a sec. Whoa! Holy! What in the? You can take. Okay. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Huh. Yeah, that's what. I go to the mad when Oh sooner or later, right? Keeper.
Man. That sure is a rotating JPEG. Rex. You do you, buddy. You. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Yeah, now we get fun. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, mate. Um, destination. I don't know, of course, I guess. What? I don't know. Just use stuff. Can you fucking stay still? Oh. <laughs> ah, one more. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Yeah! <laughs> Poison! Blue! Um... <laughs> uh, wait. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Medical... Need the first aid interface. The first aid interface would... Not a... Seven hundred credits. I'll see you later. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. My parents brought. My father was a oh, medic oops. with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking. Okay, there's a quarian that needs saving. We better save her back. Fist thinks he can fuck with me, huh? But that 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 Do you think you can go all Toblerone on me? Eh? Came from there, right? What? Rapid transit. Bouncer. Hey, good to see another human in here. Hey, Rita. I bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to 
water now. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, high stakes and low stakes ways up. Happen. I should probably maybe go down there. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you understand. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, it's proper. Oh, Conrad Werner. Uh. Best place on this board to buy upgrades. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from, my goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. Tell me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oh, close combined lice. Oh, manager. Ooh, I could sell some stuff eventually.
Okay. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Um. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Th thanks again! Hmm. He's so cool. So is another incident going to happen down here? Oh, Jordan. How are you doing? Morval. Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Method shell upgrade to grenade bison. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are. We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You. Spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? That's what all the fuss is about? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Well, if it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Then I just gotta remember that this is what I need to get back to. Oh, another keeper. Uh, 
That is this. Presidia. Um, what the hell are you doing? Shields, dude. Okay, maybe, maybe I. Powers assassination. Yes. Kill. Sniper. Uh, this is a ramble. Is that? It's with the weird bolts. Air containment. Uh. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot! I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh... Well, uh... Uh, screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. <laughs> Shooting people isn't always the answer. Ah, uh, that's fucking. I never change racks. I will. I love you. Take the now. Why do I have to do everything myself? Time to die, little soldiers. Oh yes, time. Time to. Hmm. Enemy is everywhere! Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. You're on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. 
Yeah, fuck them. Okay, um, the, the decryption first. Just give me a second, all right? Uh, what, what was that? This? I don't care. It just something said this. What's going on? Okay, this. Don't know what you man. I'm on it. Um, what? I will destroy you. Wait, but didn't I use assassination? And people are dying. I am a walking thing. Oh. Woo. Woo. Oh no. I'm in danger. <laughs> Broker, where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Taui, Taui, get out of the way. Did I actually do? We got him all. Just Shepard. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Talizora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. 
During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Yay. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. So, uh, why just this and this? Avenger to Banshee. 
Never talk to you. Also like the hurricane. But sure, same. Stinger too, I like the Stinger. Oh, hammer too. Heat sink capacity is a little low. I don't know. Eight two. Test. There are no protection. And only to know. Right. Um, the shepherd? Shepherd? Are you holding an invisible weapon? Okay. <laughs> oh, smash. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. I'll do that in a moment. Hey, rapid transit. Uh, oh. Uh, what? Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. 
The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Kills. Kills the whole talking about the Reaper and everything else, not just. Got the birth of the first human spectre. Oh. Oh. Uh, the waiter. Expose Saren. Speak to the ambassador. Oh, that's a lot of. Light quests. In his office. Embassy.
I mean... What? I'm pretty sure it was here, right? I am... Oh, lion's dog. Okay, that's different. That is... Well, factor status. We achieve factorness. Which is a good way to end the episode for now. For me to take another break and come right back. I am going to continue this wild trip. This is going to be one huge ass... Three. So I'll just BRB and be right back.